gill plate here, generally, most, most fish, right here. You kind of fill it. And then you just go right down this like backbone and you can usually just feel it like at an angle. And I don't cut all the way through. Clarence told me not to do that so I can see because it's slippery and you can have something to grab onto it. And then just right down the skin like that. And I thought about, you can leave the skin on sometimes and cut it that way. And there you go, you just fillet the fish. And Who caught like, the only keeper today? Me. He did. What'd you say? I turned it off. It has pin bones in here. Okay. Well, I kind of like, I guess, I don't know if you'd call it such rib cage, but you kind of just get rid of that. Mm. I'm on the wrong side of you. There's your fillet. That's your fish for tonight. Yeah. You only caught one keeper, but that's it. So. And then what do you do to the other side? Same thing. Flip it over. Fish right here. You can feel the bones here. You, you feel them? Yeah. You feel all those? So it's Don't hard want to, to swallow eat. one of those. You might get hurt. You might go get hurt. And did they teach you at Boy Scouts how to, what do you do with a knife? What are, yeah. What are the rules? But don't cut towards yourself. And don't swing it around. Anything else? That's all. That's all? Yeah. Do they teach you, teach you how to catch a fish? No, not yet. Maybe later, but not yet. It smells like fish. Yep. Fish. This is one of my favorite fishes to eat, mangrove snapper. There you go. Okay, good job. Yeah. Two thumbs up for the fisherman of the day. Yep.